Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce Rachel Bendayan, uh, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Small Business, Export Promotion and International Trade. First elected as the Member of Parliament for Outremont in February 2019, prior to that, she also built a very successful legal practice at Norton Rose Fulbright. Thank you so much for bringing your remarks today. We're so, much, so looking forward to hearing from you. Over to you, Rachel. Thank you so much, uh, Michelle, and, and thank you all for um, organizing this fantastic event. I am so pleased to be here and, and really congratulations to your whole team for, um, for the great work. I, I can't, I, I'm, I'm shocked and, and totally impressed by the number of people that you've been able to bring together today um, because this conversation is so important. As you yourself mentioned, um, Michelle, um, the pandemic is having a disproportionate effect on women and we need to absolutely address some of the concerns and, and needs of women entrepreneurs in particular. Uh, since the beginning of the pandemic, both Minister Ng and I have been engaging directly with women entrepreneurs uh, so that we can make sure that our programs were really tailored to support uh, women in business and um, that the adjustments that we were making were responsive to what women entrepreneurs were telling us. And, and I hope that um, you know, the people on this call can attest to that. And part of, of these conversations uh, and, and the reason why they're so important is so that we can continue that work because we know that the pandemic, um, you know, is, is far from over. And so um, I, I want to I talk a little bit about uh, the programs that we've put in place, um, but, but also as, uh, you know, as this crisis uh, evolves, we do need to acknowledge that, uh, that women are um, likely to be overrepresented in sectors being um, hard hit by the crisis. I'm thinking of retail, hospitality, service industries, and that may require further work. And, and, uh, and I know that um, myself and uh, Minister Ng, the finance minister, were very much attuned to that and, and looking at that uh, right at, at the moment, actually. So, um, the second aspect that, that is, of course, um, particular to, to women is that we still do most of the unpaid work within the home. I have uh, a three-year-old here at home. I'll be taking uh, the car shortly to, to Ottawa for, um, for the house session tomorrow. Um, so I'm lucky to have uh, you know, a support system at home that can help with my husband, but it is not easy uh, to, to, to juggle everything. We are constantly um, changing hats, uh, as, uh, as I'm sure uh, many of you can attest to and uh, you know the the work um, that we do have to do uh, at the moment uh, has many forms and and all of it is important so um, you know I, I want to get to the programs and I and I heard um, that the sheer number of questions that are coming in uh, it's so important for you to get specific answers to your questions so um, you know if this isn't the forum uh, you know to provide uh, very particular answers to your questions I hope that you'll email them in uh, I'm certainly available and I know that uh, the, this great team uh, is going to respond to all of your concerns and your and your particular questions so um, with that I think I'll, I'll move um, to, to some of the uh, to some of the really Im important programs that have uh, been supporting uh, women entrepreneurs over the last uh, number of months, things like uh, the wage, um, the wage program, which covers 75% of employee wages. Uh, it's, I know that that's been a huge help. Uh, we have a rent assistance program. Uh, the Canada Child Benefit has been increased. There are a number of things um, that, that we are doing and continue to do um, for uh, entrepreneurs and of course for businesses of, of all sizes. Let me start with um, the Canada Emergency Business Account. That's probably one of the most popular supports um, that we've put in place uh, so far. It's an interest-free loan, as many of you probably are already know $40,000, including $10,000 in the form of a grant. If you haven't applied uh, or made the request to your local financial institution yet, um, you know, please do so. I think that it is um, approximately, you know, uh, 48 to 72 hours for the money to get into your account. It is extremely um, quick and, and easy. And we've made adjustments over the past few months to expand the eligibility criteria for this benefit even further. So now sole proprietors, uh, business owners who depend on, on contractors and who don't have employees, uh, like, like many businesses led by women entrepreneurs, are eligible for, uh, for this funding. And, um, and like I said, uh, we, we 
think that um, it, it is probably the, the most popular program. We're looking at, a, at about 715,000 business owners across the country now getting the support. So um, I think uh, it, is, it is probably, uh, you know, helping to bridge your, uh, your fixed costs uh, in, in a way that, uh, that is really meaningful. Um, let me turn to the Women's Entrepreneurship Strategy Ecosystem Fund. I know that that is, uh, that is a mouthful. Um, as, uh, you know, as chance would have it, I uh, was very involved with this uh, strategy as a chief of staff uh, a number of years ago when, uh, when I was working um, with uh, Minister Chagger on, on this uh, important initiative and, and Minister Ng uh, has, has really um, taken it to the next level. It is certainly one uh, of, the, of the flagship programs in, in the small business uh, ministry and, uh, and so far it has been extremely uh, successful. Uh, we are using obviously this fund to target support to women entrepreneurs and business owners, but it also uh, is helping to create an entire ecosystem in Canada. So um, this was something that was launched in uh, formally in 2018. It's, a, it's approximately $2 billion, uh, um, you know, all told, uh, but when you when you calculate everything together, it's actually closer to five billion. When you include uh, other work happening in other departments across government, so it's it's really a significant program for our government, and uh, and something that both the minister and I try and champion as much as possible. If you need more information about this, um, you know, please don't hesitate uh, to reach out, uh, because I think that um, you know not only. Funding for, for women entrepreneurs is important, but the other aspect, um, of course, is mentorship. And we know that the quality of, uh, of mentors has a huge impact on the success uh, of women entrepreneurs and their businesses. So um, I, again, I, I don't want to I make too much of a list, but uh, there's, there's about 3 million uh, Canadian workers that are being supported by our emergency wage subsidy at the moment. And we have, um, and, and I'm sure we'll be speaking about it tomorrow in the House, we've passed legislation to extend the wage subsidy through to December and make it broader and, and better targeted. This was uh, the direct result of uh, consultations and discussions like these, where a lot of entrepreneurs were telling us what they needed, um, what they thought would work best in this uh, new phase uh, as businesses start to, to reopen. Um, and uh, and I, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the changes to the wage subsidy. Uh, and I'm sure uh, that in the next couple of weeks, you'll be hearing a lot more about it. But it is, um, you know, an important support for your business. And if you uh, would, uh, you know, need more information on this, uh, you know, please reach out. The other, um, you know, piece of the of the minister's role and, and myself as her parliamentary secretary is trade, and uh, you know, as you can imagine, both of those aspects of our file have been incredibly busy. Uh, here in Ontario, your very integrated economy has meant that global trade uh, has, in some respects, been put on hold. Um, you know, many. Uh, world-class manufacturers who export around the world, uh, um, you know, have experienced uh, some disruption, uh, but, uh, you know, what we're hoping for is that Canada's leadership at the WTO and elsewhere will continue to push for um, open supply chains and, and uh, complete resumption of trade. So we are working um, with our partners. Uh, as I mentioned, the WTO uh, is a very important forum for Canada at the moment, but the G10 G20 as well, and the Asia Pacific Economic Co Cooperation as well, um, and uh, and the minister and and all of cabinet is is really very present at all of these fora. In June, for example, Minister Ng hosted um, a virtual meeting of the Ottawa Group, um, which is uh, a bit of a family of like-minded countries uh, of the WTO, um, in, in order to push for uh, reforms and, and a solution really uh, to some of the issues that have affected the dispute resolution uh, process. And so, um, every time that Canada has the opportunity, we, we do push, uh, you know, the importance of keeping trade and supply chains open. Uh, as you can imagine, there, there is some pushback from, from other countries who are looking a little bit more inward. Uh, and we need, uh, you know, both for the Canadian economy, but I think for uh, the global economy to, to keep uh, trade flowing.
Uh, on Just on Tuesday, for example, uh, Minister Ng also hosted a meeting of the Inclusive Trade Action Group comprised of Canada, Chile and New Zealand, and they signed a new global trade and gender arrangement, which um, has very clear and concrete steps to, for promoting gender equality and the advancement of women in trade. So uh, lots of uh, very positive news and uh, sometimes at that that positive news does get buried in the headlines. I know that it's very difficult to open up your news apps every morning, uh, but um, you know there is uh, a lot of positive news out there if if, uh, if you have the stomach to find it. Um, and uh, I, I guess I would say, just in closing, that you know the, the most important thing for both the minister and I is to be there to support our entrepreneurs uh, and uh, and to protect as as much as we can Canadian jobs and businesses uh, in in the face of this uh, pandemic, and and the big part of this work involves empowering women. Uh, we know that for the economy to fully rebound, we need uh, absolutely women to be at the table and um, you know at their desks, uh, whether it's at home or at work. I, I think that. Um, we all on this call can agree that women are uh, an integral part of uh, the relaunch of our economy and, uh, and that diversity and, and the, the talent uh, that we bring to the table is incredibly important. So with partners like the Ontario Chamber of Commerce, um, I'm very confident that we can achieve that goal and, and come through uh, this crisis and onto the other side even stronger and, uh, and better. So thank you again for, for inviting me onto the call and uh, and I look forward to the discussion. Thank you so much for your remarks and thank you for your government's leadership during this pandemic uh, and for your support to promoting a better Canada for women and girls. And again, uh, for your government support for this important report. Um, really appreciate you being here and for taking time uh, to bring uh, an update to everyone. It's really wonderful to hear from you.